It is the 6th of June 2019. Welcome to New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Ruth Inasaj and these are the stories making the headlines across the country. Now starting off, today's bulletin is a story from the capital Kampala where President Yoram Seveni is set to give the state of the nation address. Now the ceremony will take place at the International Conference Center in Kampala. The president last gave the address in June last year and among the issues he tackled were security, modernization of agriculture and infrastructure development. As the nation awaits the reading of the 2019-2020 budget a week from today, the president's accountability of what the government has done in the last 12 months and the promises for their ahead will be crucial. We move on to Buyukwe district where a pit latrine wall has collapsed on a five-year-old girl killing her instantly. The area elsewhere person Joseph Jita said Kelto Namazi, daughter of James Mega and Scovia Nachibuk and other children were playing besides the dilapidated latrine which was not in use for over 10 years. The incident occurred at Namengo East Village in Lugazi Central Division. You're still watching the news around Uganda with me, Ruth, in a state of sticker break and look at what is making headlines in today's copy of the New Vision. Now, for those who cannot access the hard copy of the new vision, the link is on your screen. All you have to do is to subscribe to our e-paper and access all the products published by Vision Group. And those with smartphones, go to your Play Store, download the Vision Group e-paper app and access all the products published by Vision Group. You're still watching New Vision TV News with me, Ruth in Asayitas. Continue looking at more stories making the headlines across the country. Now, from Buyenda District, the woman member of parliament, Veronica Babidi Kadugu, has advised residents to take advantage of the rains to plant food crops and trees in order to address the challenges of food security and future natural disasters. Kadugu say this while delivering 600 bags of mature cassava cuttings, 300 tree seedlings to the victims of Buyenda district storm. The disaster left 16 people dead and 578 families without shelter in Epo. The distribution that took place at Nabweyo A zone attracted hundreds of victims from Itamia, Nabweyo B, Nakabembe, Nabugodo and Green Zone. Kadego, the member of the Pan-African Parliament, noted that the previous poor rain pattern and prolonged drought should be an eye-opener for innovation, hard work and vigilance in the family's sustainability. The severe storm, which occurred early April, was characterized by speedy winds, hailstones and floods, which left hundreds devastated and desperate. Closing off the news around Uganda is a story from Jinja District where a foul smelling fluent from Makeke distillery in Jinja is ending up in Lake Victoria. Local leaders have complained. Now, leaders from Ofira Sub County and Kimaka Division say the distillery should be assisted in digging a lagoon. Now, they say the lagoon will help them treat wastewater from the distillery and the senior command staff college in Kimaka. The leaders who included chairpersons with their deputies and healthy secretaries from Makeke, Kaitabawala and Kimaka made their request after a tour of both the college and the distillery. They were accompanied by the college administrator, Lieutenant Colonel John Bosco Kaliango and Captain George Musinguza, the spokesperson of Ginger Zone. Paul Okello, the chairperson of Makeke Village, say the existing channel from the distillery is open and that the college lacks one that channels stagnant water, thus the string gardens, and causing a foul smell. 
That is it we had for you today. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch my news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website, which is newvision.co.eug forward slash video. You can also follow us on social media. Facebook is the New Vision. Twitter is at New Vision Wire. Instagram is at New Vision Wire. And our YouTube channel is New Vision TV. Catch up with me on my Twitter handle. I am Ruth, the voice. Have a lovely day.